Good morning everybody and welcome to the part 4 of getting started with Glue for beginners uh, with PySpark, right? So the first part of the video we essentially gave you an introduction what is glue and why is it so popular and why people are using it so much the part two basically we, we did brush up your memory on PySpark syntax such as head filter group by applying a custom UDF function so we did that third part we made our very simple s3 crawler okay and now the fourth part is essentially what we did in part three let's write the infrastructure code uh, often when you're working in companies you're not gonna be able to do stuff through console you gotta write infrastructure code either terraform or cloud formation or you write in your serverless.yml file this video i'll be showing you how to do that in the serverless.yml file so let's get started with straight into the video uh let me share my All right, hopefully you guys can hear me now. Um, so yeah, all the labs, each video uh, has its folder and it has its own resources. So you should be able to get all the resources from my GitHub section right here. So this lab is all about, uh, you know, what we did in the part three. So in the part three, we made this glue database. We made this very first S3 crawler uh, using the um, uh, UI, right? We essentially were clicking some buttons, entering information, and we did that. But oftentimes in company, you are not going to be allowed to do that. Uh, you're not going to be allowed to essentially uh, do that through console. You've got to write infrastructure code, right? So uh, again, going to share my screen. So, um, so let's basically create a simple glue database and a crawler. Okay. So uh, this is going to be video number four. Okay. So make sure you're in the right project. Uh, before we run anything, and uh, there is two things that you need to do. That is, install Node.js. You need to come here and install Node.js, and then AWS CLI. You need to download that. You need to install both of these uh, in order to deploy the infrastructure code. Again, as you can see, pretty straightforward. And then install serverless framework. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's just a uh, one command npm. Um, install minus g serverless so that, that should be it once you do the, do that now the first thing that we need to do is we need to copy this command wherever you see xx replace here your access keys and then secret keys okay i've already done that okay now let's dive, dive into the infrastructure code on line number one uh, on line number one i'm defining a service uh, again this is just an alias that you want to give whatever you want to uh, give name to your stack i'm calling it sls create glue crawler dot env true means i'm gonna be using environment variables i don't want to hard code right because usually when thing goes on the ci cd uh, these values are injected or you know uh, you don't hard code it so that it's basically a template now okay uh, over here i'm defining my providers which is aws and my stack is gonna be in the us east one here i'm defining my tags these are the tags that i want uh, I want in my uh, infrastructure because it allows me to monitor the cost aspect pretty well. Now this is where you're going to create a resource, right? So again, resource, resource, I'm creating a resource. Resource means you want to create something, right? So here I'm essentially want to create a glue database. This name can be anything. You can add foo, bar, whatever you want to add. I'm calling it glue database. And then here type is a glue database properties catalog id again the account id that you gotta put so again this usually uh, comes from on the top one account over here so going back uh, and then again the database name again these are coming from an env variable so if i just show you the sample.env hopefully you will see um, uh, so all you gotta do is just replace where it says xxxx okay over here then we are defining our very first crawler that we created in the lab number three that is over here s3 crawler right so you're saying that type as crawler then the crawler will have properties right the crawler will have you know we did all these things to the console right we gave an iam role we selected the data database we selected the source right so all that stuff we gotta do it okay so i'm giving it a database name again this is gonna be learn db I'm giving the name to the crawler. Again, the name of the crawler was S3 crawler, right? Uh, again, we are saying that crawl over everything. So we're telling Glue that, hey, crawl over everything. We are giving it a role, okay? 
and then here we are defining our target so again this has to crawl over the s3 right so here this is my s3 path right where my data is right so this is essentially that and now once you're done with that now since i'm in the video 4 now you can say npx sls deploy and this should basically deploy your entire stack to the aws i've already done that so i'm i'm gonna basically get um uh, changes there you know it's already deployed now once that is done uh, what you can do is you can click on run crawler i have already done that uh, prior to the video uh, so that i could speed things up and then once you do that you should be able to uh, query that data using athena you should see your data over here so it's literally that easy this is a very very again i'm going so so basic here i have advanced videos as well again so now how is this lecture gonna proceed okay so i'll explain you the entire roadmap here so the first part we did what is glue the second part i refreshed our memory on pi spark the third part was basically we did a crawler the fourth part we write infrastructure code now the fifth part uh, that is the next video after this is going to be a glue script we're going to write a very basic hello world script then we're going to write infrastructure code for the glue script after that we're going to uh, learn how to schedule a glue job on a schedule uh, then we're going to write infrastructure code for that that is workflows and triggers once that is done after that anytime a glue job fails how to essentially send a notification we're gonna add that module into that once that module is complete after that we're gonna be doing uh, let me think uh, yeah we're gonna learn how to install external libraries and then we're gonna learn different different sources so for, for example dynamo db and all these stuff so we're gonna write more and more and more so as the video process as the video progress you'll see a lot of amazing things being added on this tutorial series um, and as I was saying, all the resources will be there. All the folders will be there in the GitHub section. All the resources, learning material is available. So make sure to try them out personally. Thank you so much. I hope you are going to enjoy all these amazing videos that I am creating. If so, please do like the video and make sure to comment on the video as well. Thank you so much. Keep smiling. I'll see you in the next video.